Hello, my name is Nicole Franklin, one of Penn State's pre-arrival advisors of International Student and Scholar Advising. The purpose of this video is to help you learn to navigate the accounts management site and for help updating your address information and telephone information for CVIS immigration check-in. Thank you. Personal information in accounts management. The purpose of this video is to help incoming F1 and J1 international students properly report and format personal information in account management. We recommend you complete your address and phone updates while watching this video guide. Please contact Pre-Arrival Advising for any help. We are happy to assist you. The focus of this video is to help you with your phone number and address reporting. You cannot access account management without an active access account. Also, the Microsoft Multi-Factor Authentication, or MFA, must be available for you to use. Pay attention to the yellow buttons and reminders in this video. The account management system uses yellow buttons to guide you. Always seek help within the system you are going to use. International Student and Scholar Advising is not responsible for the Penn State Account Management System, and we are not the best resource to help you troubleshoot. Please use the helpful tips from Account Management when you need it. F1 and J1 students who are in the United States are required to report to the Student and Exchange Visitor Information System, or CVIS, a non-U.S. address, a local U.S. address near campus, and phone numbers. Your information in account management will be transferred to CVIS. Information entered in account management may also be used for Penn State Public Directory, Workday Employment Records, Emergency Contacts, Postal, Mail, Email, and a variety of other account services available from Penn State. The focus of this video is to help you with your phone number and address reporting. At the end of this video, we will review some other useful tools available through your account management system. Welcome to your home page. Again, international students in F1 and J1 status are required to report the following information to CVIS, non-U.S. address, local physical address, phone numbers. Penn State and International Student and Scholar Advising requires this data to be reported through the Secure Accounts Management site. For new students, the data in your record came from your Penn State application, so it may need to be updated. If you are a continuing Penn State student, this is a reminder. You are required to update your address information on this site within 10 days of moving address locations. Typically, address updates happen each August at the start of the academic year as students change apartment or dorms. Expand the sections labeled phone numbers and addresses. An important note, be sure you save your changes. Data entered in accounts management is not automatically saved. We will start with the phone number updates. ESA asks for all students to list both a home phone number or non-U.S. number, which can be a parent or relative's number. ESA also requires a local phone number, typically a mobile number. You will enter your phone numbers and then tag the number with the proper label prior to saving. Some frequently asked questions include, how can I edit my phone number entry? Answer, you cannot. Click on the trash can and start over by adding the number again. What is a phone number extension? Answer, phone number extensions are for shared lines such as push one for this and push two for that. You will not have an extension on your personal numbers, so please do not add any extension to phone numbers in this system. Question, I don't have a mobile US number yet. Can I complete the immigration check-in through iStart? Answer, yes. Submit your immigration check-in through iStart now 
and then come back to the account management site to update your phone number as soon as possible. ESA will not call you for simple reminders, but we may call for urgent case-specific immigration needs. Be sure you can receive our messages. Set up a voicemail on your phone. Now let's talk about editing your address. Be sure you have opened or expanded the address section of your information on the account management page. If you were wondering why your local address information needs to be so exact, the reason is this. CVIS requires address information that matches United States Postal Service standards. Only you can update this information in accounts management. ESA's job is to help explain the U.S. address format to you and guide you through the account management process. I will talk about the address format line by line and provide you with tools to look up the proper format of your address. I will also review how to tag each address in your account management page. Please email or schedule an appointment with pre-arrival advising for any help you may need with the address format. We are happy to help you and are available for your questions. Be sure to read the description provided in Accounts Management if you are confused about how to tag or label your addresses. The first row of data will contain the building location. Please do not list the name of your apartment complex in your address, such as Peppermill Apartments or University Heights. The apartment group or apartment community name is not part of your official address. Your leasing contract or housing contract is a good place to check for the exact address information if you are not sure or cannot remember. Also, in iStart, the eForm called Personal Information in Account Management will contain campus-specific details about how to format your address. We will now discuss how to enter a University Park on-campus local address. University Park on-campus addresses will contain two rows of data. The first line will be your dormitory or building information and a locator such as north, east, south, or west. Enter your dormitory information such as dorm name 123 East, and then click the plus sign at the end of that row to add a second line or row for new data. University Park students can use the QR code at the bottom right of this video to link to a full list of address information for on-campus address information. The street address information will be added to line 2. 463 Bigler Road is one example of the street location. Again, use the QR code at the bottom right of the video to link to a full list of address information for University Park on-campus addresses. If you are living on another Penn State campus, Locate your dormitory address information from your e-living contract or refer to the iStart form called Personal Information in Account Management. Pre-arrival advisors and ESA advisors are happy to help you too. You will see Pennsylvania shortened to PA in many addresses. Both are acceptable. Pennsylvania is usually spelled out in drop-down menus. This slide is specific to the Penn State University campus. University Park has its very own postal or zip code, which is 16802. Therefore, University Park is also considered a city per the United States Postal Service. If you live on campus, you live in the city of University Park and your postal code is 16802. If you live off campus, your city is State College and your postal code is either 16801 or 16803, depending on which side of town you live on. Each address that you add to the account management system requires a label or a tag. Penn State and Sevis require a home address. 
your non-Penn State address. The F-1 and J-1 visas are non-immigrant visas, therefore your home address must be a non-U.S. address. Penn State also requires a mailing address and CBIS requires a local address. Tag your non-Penn State, non-U.S. address as your home address. Tag your Penn State address as mailing, which is required. Then also tag the mailing address as a local address. The end result will be having two addresses entered, including three tags. Other address information, such as university office addresses, are permitted but are not required. Other addresses are not reviewed in this video. We recommend that you explore all areas of your personal information in Accounts Management. Take a few minutes to click around and update each field. If you applied to Penn State using another school's email, it is a good idea to change or update your non-PSU email now. Once you are here on campus, we will only send messages to your Penn State email address. Please note, your official name in all Penn State systems needs to match your passport and your I-20 or DS-2019. This is important for your CVS record and any employment records. If you wish to make changes to your names, please consider using a preferred name field. The multi-factor authentication tool is very important for international students to consider. We want to be sure you can access your Penn State systems when you are home over the summer and when you return to campus. Many international students will have different phone numbers or phone access in their home country versus on campus. We strongly recommend that you have more than one method set up for using the MFA. You can click on Manage My Devices at any time to change your MFA settings. Don't miss any important Penn State emails. Did you know you can forward your Penn State email to your personal email account? Whether you use Yahoo, Gmail, or 163.com or some other personal email, you can forward your at psu.edu messages into your other email account. This step will help you manage your time by reducing the number of email inboxes you need to review. It is also possible to set up an alias name for your email, so instead of using abc1234 at psu.edu, you can provide a more memorable email name. An important note, even if you use an alias, you will still need to use ABC1234 as your user ID for logins. Setting up a PSU alert on your mobile phone or email is strongly recommended. Penn State will not post general announcements, but there are many other important alerts that may be sent. This alert is simple to manage and can help keep you safe when timely emergencies are happening on or around your campus. Remember, only the account management team is responsible for the system and can truly help you troubleshoot your account management record. Please submit a ticket for additional help with this system. Account management is a robust system. It will be a good investment of your time to explore the various settings and tools within account management to help you navigate your information during your time as a Penn State student. Please remember to ask for help with your address and phone information if needed. We are available to assist you.